Hello, my name is John Sveck. Welcome to this All 24 video. Uh, today, Coach Waterman and I are joined by a special guest, Coach J.F. Jonka. He is the uh, head coach of the Champlain Cougars. Thanks for being with us, Coach. Hey, my pleasure. Awesome. The next so, concept I want, to, I want to talk to you guys today is the bluff concept. Again, uh, kind of a, a change of pace. We run a lot of uh, split zone. Uh, inside zone, split zone, all right, so some, and a lot of uh, defense, all right, teach to, to spill the block, all right, so we want to, uh, to change it a little bit, so we're going to fake that we're, we're running that split zone, and our age back will avoid contact with the DN and go on, on the second level defender afterward, okay, so in uh, the first scenario, I want to show you if, uh, if, if a defense is playing a 50-50 technique, all right, with their DN and the sandbacker, tracks over or on top over the top all right so uh, our age back will end up blocking the sandbacker on the other side of the formation the quarterback is still reading the dn all right so if they're playing 50 50 the dn will most likely keep his shoulder square all right the quarterback reads him all right and the age back all right blocks blocks the sandbacker tracking on top uh, one coaching point to on for the age back we want to add fake all right the DM so we want to show him we want that block to look as much as possible just like uh, like a brick block a kick out block all right so go attack the DN give him a, a little head fake a nod all right and then avoid him and go on to the next level look inside first the next um, the next one the next animation it's a bluff concept now versus a scrape exchange all right so uh, the DN will go inside, will chase, all right? Now the will backer will be responsible for, uh, for the quarterback, all right? So now our age back will most likely end up with the will backer in that scenario, okay? Sam might scrape, might uh, either they bump or they have the Sam backer chasing on top, all right? So on this one here, same thing, we avoid, we avoid the DN, all right, and go for the will backer on Scrape, scraping around to, that's going to the quarterback all right on this one here we tell our tackles just like any inside zone concept if there's two outside all right then you turn back okay if the will and the quick goes outside of you okay you turn back on the on, on the most dangerous guy so how we practice bluff uh, we put we put a tackle just so so we are the right tackles we have a, a landmark for age back okay where, where we want him to to stand all right, is alignment, and then we put cones right on the other side of the line of scrimmage, right? So it, it mimic the old line going like gaining ground. So we want to age back to stay as close as possible, like he's, we're doing on split zone, right? And then um, the D, the DN, the player playing the role of the DN, will attack that age back and give him um, like like a DN to give him a look like he's spilling inside. All right, so that's something we. We practice and then we're gonna roll we rotate we rotate through all right so that's something we practice again every week every week every week i like to stand on the side for this one just so i see the angle right i'll end the head nut of the and that, uh, that, that dn tries to uh box it or tries to be real aggressive and stop him do you sort of just try to really lose ground and avoid it or how, what do you teach him in coaching points yeah so we want to want to be to be as close as possible to the line of scrimmage, but obviously there's there's a limit because we want to avoid contact, right? Uh, the reality is we're still reading the DN. So if that DN goes up field and makes make contact with our age back, I mean it's going to be a give for uh, for the quarterback, right? So so the quarterback, what we tell him is if 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 you see the um, if you see the age the the DN, all right, you see the DN in and you see the age back going around, I mean. It, it's it's a keep if you see a scenario where um where where the the age back gets gets basically blocked or taken away from by the dn all right just give the ball it's it's okay i mean it, it, that will create most likely a good cutback lane for uh for our, our tailback and i'm guessing the nice play nice thing about uh you know this bluff play is you can bring guys from outside the box they don't have to be h backs so they can be receivers and exactly. different guys coming across the formation <laughs> exactly exactly i mean we, we ran it with an age back, but it could be done with a slot back. Um, and, and, you know, with slot back, the good thing is you could either, either it becomes like a, a run play and you ask the slot back to, to, to block someone or, or it's, just a, it's just a pass concept and then, and then it gives a, like a, another option to your, uh, to your quarterback, right? Uh, so it's the, 
we we've done both yeah, ways. We're, 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 we're going across the formation. We want to show them the split zones. That's that's uh, that's a concept we ran a lot. We ran the split zone a lot. And on this particular play, we, we can watch it from the wide, and then let's go to the the tight angle. We'll, we'll have a better view. And you you'll see on the tight angle. Uh, you'll see our fullback give, giving that head fake. I'm talking about the, the little nod right on the block. So the DN's reaction, right? He's he's about to spill right there. He gets he gets ready to spill with his left arm, all right? And then whoop, we go around. The quarterback keeps it, all right. They're in cover zero, so they have an unblocked guy. Yeah, they have one more guy that we, that we do. Uh, we tell our uh, our age back basically to to look inside first uh, and to, to first stretch. So it could be uh, a second level defender that gets gets away from the combo, or it could be the guy in front of him. Either they're bumping, or it's the guy that's tracking him. Right, but we always tell him once you get around, get okay, look for the first threat and look inside first. Do you find, coach, that through the game planning process, you're able to give your quarterback a little bit of a heads up of what he's probably going to see? I mean, if a team's a spilling team, is that a big piece of information for you? Oh yeah, big time, big time, because. Uh, like I said, we run that split zone a lot, so so we see all teams are are, are playing us, and if, if we have to log them all the time, then we we we're ready to call bluff because it's a it's a good change of pace, and we were blessed to have a, a pretty athletic quarterback last uh, last season, so he was he was dangerous with, with the ball. Awesome, great look at it there. Let's uh, let's go on to the next one. So same type of of action there now. The 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 the, uh, the DN all right gets up feel a little bit. He's playing more like a 50-50 technique, but uh, he reduces inside, gets a gets uh, gets up field, quarterback field that he went he went enough inside. I mean he's he's behind the tackles, but almost in the B gap, he was able to uh, to to keep the keep the ball. All right, um, <clears throat> age back, a little a little nod there with his head. All right, just enough, and then he's looking inside. In theory, that wasn't supposed to be his guy. All right, okay, that was that guy was supposed to be taken by by the by the combo, uh, but uh, I mean, you're looking for the first threat, and that's the guy that shows up, and you have to block him. And coach, in general, uh, can you give us a couple of tips on uh, you know what you tell your quarterbacks uh, to to think about when they're going to pull the ball? Are there certain things you're coaching them up on in, in terms of the reaction of the defensive end? Yeah, so basically, if we see him all right, replacing the, the, the tackle right, for him, that's kind of the, the zone where if, if you see him replacing the tackles, but this is for you, this is for you, it's a, it's a keep call. Like, you're going to keep, you're gonna keep uh, that ball. Um, obviously, if they turn their shoulder, that's, that, that's another uh, pointer where you're going to keep that ball. Um, now, on the mesh, uh, a mistake that we, we, we often see is they don't go back back as far they don't bring that ball back enough back enough so they, the the mesh is not long enough so they don't ride they're, they're running back enough and it goes with the tailback as well tailback has to wait for the quarterback to get his the ball in, in his hands before uh starting to move all right um so so that particular back i mean his mesh was a uh, was most of the time awkward so it was a first year kid so we, that's that was something we had to, to practice uh, with there's other back where you're going to see the mesh is a bit more consistent by where they where they line up and, and everything. Bring that ball to your back hip, right in. All right, get your eyes on that. You get your eyes on them. That DN, the DN replace. He's behind the tackles. Boom. That's great. Let's uh, check out the next clip here. Yep. All right. So we so that one uh, that was. So pre-snap, all right, you got 87 coming across on a, on on a, coming across to, to to the weak side slot back, all right. So we were we're showing that we're running dual on this one, all right. So we're uh, usually if you if you pause it there, uh, usually if we run dual, all right, we have our fullback on the strong side and we have our weak side slot back adding to the uh, the, the formation as well, and we run that that, that gap play. So pre-snap, they see okay, it looks like. It looks like the their their power their gap scheme that they they ran a lot. Now post snap, uh, the the slot back will keep going, but we have our full back running that that block concept. So for the the, the O line on this one, all right, they ran inside zone. All right, it was just inside zone strong. So 
with with the block. So again, the uh, the the end there, going inside. All right, he's back basketball shuffling. All right, he stay. He tries to stay square. He's going inside. He's replacing. He's almost behind the guard at that point. So obviously, for a quarterback, it's a it's a keep call. It's a keep uh, read. The end will avoid him. All right, and look for the first threat inside. Um, Defensively, it looks like they're trying to uh, to bump at the last minute. All right, so so Brian, all right, just get that 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 second level uh, defender twenty six. All right, if you can't reach him, it's okay. Just bring him to the sideline, and we'll we'll get inside of it. And that's where your rules come into play, there. I assume, coach. I mean, if if the defense is in man to man, and the halfback wants to go with that number two, your fullback's going to block a different player, correct? Yep. No, exactly, exactly. I mean, I'm not sure we've got who would have 87 if we're, if, you know, if if 87 really is on the strong side right now. So there's probably a miscommunication as well on their part. So same, uh, same, uh, same concept there. We're trying to show 87 coming across for the power scheme, and then we have our fullback. Uh, going across for uh, the, the inside zone bluff. All right. So quarterback keeps it because that DN went inside, turns his shoulder. Basically, he's not even square anymore. His, his, his shoulders are, are is square. Okay, Brian, avoid him. All right. And we should be looking inside uh, for the first threat, and the safety is coming in to, uh, to save the day. And that's kind of what we talked about, coach. There, the, the boundary half follows that a lot farther on this one, and you're able to have a lot more uh, space to work with. Yep. Inside zone bluff again. So that's a that's a read right in there. So you saw you see fifty four right. Again, he's going he's going up field. He's going up field big time. And all the the age back. Right. I mean, it, there's a limit to where you want to avoid him. All right. So so we so he did he did what we asked him to do. We don't want him to go too deep and. And try to avoid 54 and then I mean you're not in a good position so so we just went upfield on him but for us that, at that point it's a give all right just give the ball all right and we have a, a nice lane I'm right, created by the, uh, by the alignment so it's just it's inside zone all right inside zone strong phenomenal that's a great uh, great breakdown coach really enjoyed uh, hearing you, you talk about that scheme thank you guys thank you for having me thanks coach